The Hoover Dam is considered one of the engineering marvels of the 20th century. It created the greatest source of hydroelectric power when it was built, and it is still one of the leading generators of electricity through hydroelectric power in the United States. It generates more than 4 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually, and it serves more than 1.3 million people in the states of Nevada, Arizona, and California. Unfortunately, the drastic drop in water levels of Lake Mead are affecting its ability to generate electricity. Because of the mega drought, water levels in Lake Mead have dropped more than 140 feet. The lake has lost two-thirds of its volume and is currently only about a third full. This has gone on year after year, and in recent years, month after month, the water levels continue to drop. This affects production of electricity because as there is less and less water, there is less and less pressure in the water, which is entering the intakes, which then means less and less energy, which can be harnessed to generate electricity. If water levels continue to drop, they will reach points where some of the machinery and the turbines are damaged uh, as air uh, bubbles start to go through. And if the level drops uh, to about 900 feet, in other words, if the uh, drop is about the same as has been witnessed uh, from the year 2000 until the present in 2022, when I'm making this video, um, then water would cease to go through the Hoover Dam and there would no longer be any electrical generation. The lowering water levels will affect electricity production long before this, however. It is already estimated that electricity production at Hoover Dam has decreased by about 25%. This potentially means that more electricity must be generated using fossil fuels, and it is the burning of fossil fuels which is causing the climate change which is responsible for the drought. 